People cannot create Only the story of what is good All oh, the world be great Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace Hi, Christina Peek is here, and I'm here to talk about um, a little fabric haul that I have from um, Joann's and from Walmart Bundles. So let's go ahead and get started. First, um, there's a Walmart fabric um, spotters page uh, on uh, Facebook, and it's really fascinating to see what everybody's Walmart has. And I've been kind of watching for some things. And then the people who are from Bowie and Western Maryland and D.C. who shop near me, and I'm in Prince George's County, Maryland, um, they're all just as disappointed I, as I am that they haven't seen anything really good. So I keep Hope Springs Eternal. So I went into a Columbia, Maryland store. And it's so funny because my, my daughter... Um, encouraged me to go to, to Joann's because she knows that I've been saying I'd wanted to and um, she's very supportive and so I was like oh do you mind if we just quickly run in there and she was like oh mom yeah so but she did anyway so we ran in there went straight to the fabric section aha and so one thing was I got her to hold the app, the phone with the app and to start taking pictures of things that were not you know in the regular displays to see if anything had been marked down and um, we did find some things that were marked down. So first we got some fabric um, fat quarters of um, regular cotton fat quarters. These were tied with a bow. Um, they were on an end cap and they were five for $1.50. Um, so you can see they're kind of like the spring, but they don't actually have anything Eastery on them. They're just the spring collection. And another set, um, also $1.50 for five um, fat quarters. And these are tie-dyed. So I really like those. And I got those. And then I got um, a bunch of fat quarters that were rolled kind of in tubes. And they were a quarter a piece. And they are Eastery. I think um, it's a floral. I got two that are a gingham with a bunny printed on them and um, a blue with bunnies um, this fox one is kind of springy but it's not sp specifically Easter um, I think this is just floral with a green background lighting isn't so great here um, let's see another gingham and then um, I got these um, one yard for a dollar um, also uh, quilting cotton. So got those. So now let's go on to the bundles. These have all been washed. So yay. <laughs> First, um, kind of a hunter green. It's like a poly spandex. It's not a brushed poly. Um, it's, I don't even know what it is. I haven't set it on fire, but it does feel it does feel like polyester. It's not very thick. Um, I'm going to make my son some t-shirts, I think, out of that. And then I got a couple ITYs. Oh, this is the um, two yards for $4. That. And um, this, it's a peach um, with a um, kind of like a puffy um, texture on the petals. Um, ITY. And um, that's also two yards for $4. Uh, just a plain navy ity which i might actually use as a lining for a gray ponte um blazer the others are probably uh um, just be shirts um so that could be um an auburn blazer lining and then the final uh two yards for four dollars is this uh, chiffon and it's a gray they also had a black with um some kind of green detail but kids pick this <laughs> uh, now for the three yards for eight dollars the first thing is this um, pumpkin or burnt orange it's it feels like it's got um, it's a bottom weight and it feels like it's got rayon in it um, I'm not 100% sure what it is um, I think I'm gonna make try either to make skull Thorpe pants I had an unsuccessful um, muslin before 
but I suspect it was actually that I had the side panels on the wrong ones. Um, but I got so upset with it, I kind of abandoned it for a little bit. But anyway, I, I want to do that with these, or, or Allegro, otherwise. Um, got a DBP that's like a, a peach that's got stars on it. It's nice. It's also three yards. And then two Swiss Dot. So Swiss Dot is like the thing this year for some reason. And I, Swiss Dot I'd always seen was um, like a thin, uh, maybe voile or... Um, you know, like a thin poplin with like fuzzy things on it is what I always thought Swiss Dot was. But this is actually a, um, it's a knit and um, it's not completely um, opaque. Um, you can see light through it, but I think, you know, uh, with a tank top underneath or even bra underneath or something, it wouldn't be bad. It's kind of about um, maybe 20% um, or less stretch horizontally really none vertically and I got that in green the sage green and in black and so I'm hoping to make a um, a an Eloise um, out of it uh, with uh, maybe I think there's uh, a more fitted and less fitted um, bodice and I'd probably line it with something not self lying because it'd be like all poofy in there it'd be weird anyway and then <laughs> the third thing I got or whatever <laughs> the last of the um, three yards for eight is this um, white DBP with uh, the rainbows on it. So um, my daughter and I both love it, but we're both like, oh, how long will it take us to get it stained? Like, seconds, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't know if I'll over dye it or I'll just keep it, you know, like it is. Um, and now for Joanne. Sorry that there's some discontinuity in how I'm doing this. I'm shooting sideways and I'm trying to look at the camera not at the phone and I'm failing at that um, also let me take a break to say what I'm wearing this is a Knoxville um, uh, top from pattern niche out of um, a lavender uh, rib knit from Walmart bundle and I've also got a rad patterns um, kind of underwear tank top they have in their files on their site, also from a Walmart bundle and an LBB, and Gila Bores and Brassies um, on the bottom. So, um, right. I went into Joann's um, in Columbia. Now, Columbia is one of the 10 stores that had the Cashmere and the Friday Pattern Company um, printed ones. It's one of their flagship ones where, um, or at least I don't know about flagship isn't the right word, but they put, um, they, they made all fancy and clean. Of course, it hasn't been kept up, but in any case, um, anyway, when I went in there, they had uh, paper bags that said free projects, take one. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I always love free stuff. So what it had in it is two um, fat quarters of red and a gray um, regular zipper and a pattern for a, um, a zipper um, pouch and um, a coupon for 20% off uh, total purchase May 17th through 19th. Well, so um, I've been waiting for the McCall's patterns to go on sale. I know that, um, you know, every sewist except for me on the whole planet has um, M7969 uh, McCall's, but it, it was never listed that McCall's were gonna be on sale in the booklet. So somebody on the Delaware, Maryland, Virginia um, list on Facebook, um, our group on Facebook, told me that they were gonna be on sale this week. Sure enough, I got an email that they were on sale for $1.99. So that was really the what instigated me actually going. And so I got that one. And I also got um, McCall's 8220, and I'll, I'll put a better um, picture up because I, I do appreciate this, it's hard to see. It actually says on the one I've got, it says R11039, but if you look on their website, it's 8220. I don't know what the difference is. I can't see any difference. This has a mask in it, that one has a mask. Um, it's a dolman. Um, kind of loose fit and blouse, kind of like the Melody Dolman, except it's got no collar. And it also has, um, instead of darts um, or just being extra baggy, it has um, gathering at the bus line at the placket. Um, and then it has like longer sleeves, um, shorter sleeves and more full and um, less full sleeves. So, so I wanna make a Pekka jacket from Ready to Sew. 
And the outside is going to be a chambray I got from Fabric Mart on one of their 234 sales, but I needed the lining. And of course I didn't bring a piece with me to match. So I got three different options and I'll use the other one for a trillium, which I haven't made yet and I wanna make, or um, maybe one of these um, shirts that I just got the pattern for. So um, the first is this. Oh, these are all um, quilting cotton. They were on sale for $4.99, but it's, it's kind of nicer stuff. And the, oh, and then I had a coupon off the whole thing. And this is probably what I'm gonna make the lining out of. And then the final one is this one. Anyway, um, for um, watching the video and um, I'll be back. I have an order with a different company in um, that I don't think people do a lot of fabric calls from um, and that I'll be, I'll be recording that when the fabric gets here. I'll talk to you then. Enjoy. We've opened that create Only the story of what is good I want the world be great Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace